One very exciting aspect of Opus Modus is that it allows us to map shapes to musical parameters. In this example, which I'm about to show you, I've used the mod sine waves function, which allows you to modulate the amplitude and frequency of a sine wave. And the result of that looks like this. Now, when I saw this, I felt like it almost represents a typical song arrangement, starting low, going higher, dipping again, and then a big buildup at the halfway point. So it would be pretty cool if we could map this to pitch in order to create a melody. To do this, we can use the vector map function, which takes as inputs our scale and our vector, which is the sine wave shape that we created earlier. And this gives us the melody that we see right here, which has a lot of repeating notes. So to filter those out, we can use the filter tie function, and then we get this melody. And after that, just for fun, I created a progression using the harmonic progression function, which uh, creates a chord progression based on our melody. And then we get this as our result. Mm -hmm. 